guys this is gurneet in today's video we are going to discuss some tricks around excel which will be of great help in data cleaning process as a reference we've taken movies data set and by looking at it you can see it looks quite unclean and not presentable for columns like genre one line stars they have no values as you can see they have no values but if you see at column gross it has some values but most of the values are missing so let's get started with our data cleaning process our first trick that we are going to use is clear format so for that we select all our data set and go to clear in home go to clear and clear format now the columns the values in columns like genre one line and stars came so now to make our data more readable what we'll do is we'll select all our data set right click and you can see row height so we select that and we write down value in it and you can see now the data set looks like this and select the first row because it's just a heading row and row height can be for that be 20 now we'll align the text in this some columns for example in movies i can do first the alignment should be this this is the way the left the most top one second thing the text in the movies we can use wrap text the, in this manner the data looks more readable same what will i'll do is in my in this column we don't really require and in genre again wrap text and expand this column then in one line we'll again column e use the wrap text expand it and then use so now the data looks more readable to the viewer now coming to our next step which is removing duplicates so select our data set go to data and in data we'll see a column called remove duplicates so select it and you can select all the columns and it will find out the duplicate values and remove it so a message will display that 431 duplicate values has been removed so now we are done with our second trick which is removing duplicates coming to our third trick which is select treat select and treat all the missing values so for as you can see in some columns we have a lot of missing values so for that we can just select every column for example i'll select genre and then go to data go to home and then find and select and go to special and in this particular thing we'll select blanks and select okay now you know that you have a column a cell in uh, genre which has a missing value so what you can do is you'll write down any value like drama and you do control enter we do control enter control plus enter so in this manner all our values in genre gets filled all the missing values in our get uh, in that column um, grow sorry genre gets filled so now if i check again if i have any uh, missing value i'll go to special select blanks and it says no cells were found that means there is no missing value in our column genre now in the rating again i'll do this step go to special select blanks and then now you can see that there are certain cells which have missing values so i'll select 8 and control enter this is the way 
and i'll see if the values got so find and select again go to special blanks and no cells were found so in this manner you can check in every column if there is any missing value and replace it so in this particular this is just an extra cell so we don't require it we can delete this again delete it since we have a lot of extra columns this is the reason it's um finding it as an extra but we can just go ahead and delete it right now coming back to our other column which is stars i'll go ahead and check go to special blanks since this is not required it automatically filled out the blank columns also so now it's clear i'll go back in votes i'll see find and select go to special blanks as you can see so i can write down any value and control enter now again we'll verify it go to special blanks no cells were found again in run time so write down any value 40 control enter and verify it no cells were found and our last column which is gross we just expand it gross find us go to special blanks and you can just fill out any value looking at the reference three zero zero select v 0.46 control enter now again verify it go to special blanks so we are done with our third trick which is select and treat all the blank cells so now coming to our fourth trick which is to extract here from the string value so in this column as we can see that we has it is in a string format we need to extract the uh, 2021 or uh 20, 2010 all the numbers from this column so for that what we'll do is we'll insert a column and we'll name it result and then using a formula which i'll explain in a bit i'll write down the formula and then i'll do control shift enter control shift enter and now you can see that using this formula it is extracting all the numbers that means the it's uh, extracting the year from the 
uh, string format. So now uh, I'll explain the formula. So what it did is, let me just drag it down. And you can see that it is extracting all the values in the format, the here format. So now <coughs> what we are doing in this function is, so now what we are doing in this function is that using the sum product we so the first function which is important is the mid function so now the mid what the mid function does is it yeah so what the mid function does is it returns the specified characters from the string format so in this so now if if we use mid function it will return some characters and for that first we calculate the length because we need to uh, extract all the characters from the string so we will calculate the length and concatenate it with the uh, one colon which means that it will give you a certain range it will give you like for for example in this cell it will give you a range from 1 is to 5 so that means that is a specified range and it will extract all the values from it and then we use and then after that okay. and then we have used indirect function. So the row and indirect function is used to give a specific range to the character uh, to the string format, which is one is to five, as I explained. So now we, the sum product is used to now since it's uh, giving the result in every character, we will join it. So the sum product is joining all the characters and now in this one we have used two minus before the mid function which means that some product which we have which has uh, many arrays so in this particular array we have used minus minus before mid which means that it will give you an error if it's a text value so this particular part will throw an error uh, for example in this example if there's a hyphen it will throw an error and it will extract you the value uh, 2021 from the uh, string. So as you can see, the mid function, if uh, the is number, it will uh, verify the is number in this one. It will give you the output as in, in true or false. So it will say that if it's a string value, then it, if it's a text value, it will give you the uh, result as false. And if it's a... A number value so it will give you true so is number is used to calculate the result whether it's a number or not and then we use the sum product to concatenate to like combine all the result and in this manner we get all the values as 2021 and it extracts all the numbers from the string so it's very important to remember this formula for your extraction of your number now coming to our next trick which is spell check so once we have all the data ready we need to verify whether the data is whether the data has all the spelling error it has no spelling error so what we'll do is we'll go to review and we'll go to spelling and now you can see that we have certain errors so we can just do change and you can see that if there is a name, then you can do ignore. And in the stars column, we do uh, certain, but in the one line, uh, in the stars column, certain names do have their own uh, values. So we do not change that. But if, in, if there's a certain word, then we can change it according to your own. Um, so read in this one, we can just do ignore all, ignore all in the stars column and now in the center it will change so this uh, in this manner we can just change the spellings and, it, and it will show you spell check complete you're good to go so in this manner we can make our data more accurate more readable and more presentable so i hope it's clear thank you